Pin t u l u from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en. dot wikipedia. dot org. Pin t u l u is a coastal town and the capital of Pin t u l u district. Seven thousand two hundred twenty point four square kilometers in the Pin t u l u division of Sarawak, Malaysia. It is about six hundred and fifty kilometers from Kuching, and about two hundred and fifteen kilometers from either Cebu or Miri. Some remnants of natural rainforest still exist near b i n t u l u despite the impact of the booming logging industry and the gradual encroachment of plantations, principally of oil palm and palm wood. The latter mainly comprising. Various species of acacia and eucalyptus. b i n t u l u is a major industrial center. Its port area in Kidrong, which is located to the east of the main town, holds the Petronas Liquefied Natural Gas (LNG) complex. Currently, the world's largest liquefied natural gas production facility on a single site, with an annual production. Of the twenty-three million tons, the town is geographically situated halfway between Kuching and Kota Kinabalu. b i n t u l u is a central gateway to tourist spots like Bakun Resort, Nia Caves, Mulu National Park, Logan Bunut National Park, Lambir National Park, Sibuti Wildlife Sanctuary, Rajang Pelagus. Belaga and the Barrio Highlands. b i n t u l u is accessible by air and road. The completion of the Pan Borneo Highway has connected b i n t u l u by road to other major towns in Sarawak. b i n t u l u Airport is located 5.5 kilometers southwest of the town and is equipped to handle aircraft up to the size of a Boeing 747. As a booming industrial town, b i n t u l u has been undergone rapid transformations lately. The economic growth of b i n t u l u is reflected by this sprawling construction area and the openings of several international fast food chains in the town area. New houses are currently constructed in the suburban areas to cushion the increasing population of the town. The rapid growth of the town's population, coupled with the increasing affluence of its people, has catapulted the recent retail boom that the town is witnessing. New malls and supermarkets are the testaments of this. However, the rapid urbanization that Bintu is facing has also led to the growth of the squatter settlements and slums that surround the town's industrial area. The most notable is the slum area around the Sungai Plan area. The, squ- the squatter settlements are generally inhabited by migrant workers who came from either the rural areas or the neighboring countries, notably Indonesia. However, the local authority has made significant efforts in tackling this problem by building units of low-cost homes. The most notable being the RPR Kidrong low-cost housing development. The role of the primary sector to economy of b i n t u l u has greatly diminished and has been replaced by the secondary and ter- tertiary sector. b i n t u l u is also equipped with several hotels that are able to cater to the needs of the town's burgeoning business communities. Furthermore, a more robust growth is anticipated in the future due to the b i n t u l u s position as the main urban focus for the ambitious multi-billion-dollar Sarawak corridor of renewable energy. History: The history of b i n t u l u stretches back to forty thousand years ago. With the discovery of artifacts found in the Great Nia Caves, 
some 120 kilometers to the north of Pintulu, where civilization started. There were also indications of early trade carried out with ancient China. Bitulu was once under the rule of the Brunei Sultanate. However, in 1841, Sarawak was ceded to Sir James Brooke, an English adventurer, who then became the first Raja of Sarawak. In 1861, Bintulu, which was still part of Brunei, was also ceded to the Raja and became part of Sarawak. Thereafter, Bintulu played a very significant role in the history of democracy in Sarawak. On September 8, 1867, it became the first meeting place of the State Legislative Assembly, the Council Nungri. The Brook family had ruled Sarawak for about 100 years before it was occupied by the Japanese from 1941 to 1945. When Charles Viner Brook, the Raja, Returned to Sarawak in 1946, he took steps to hand Sarawak over to Britain. Thus, in July 1946, Sarawak became a British Crown colony. Colonial rule lasted until July 22, 1963, and then on September 16, 1963, Sarawak joined the Federation of Malaysia. Following the discovery of large reserves of natural gas offshore Bintu in 1969, a feasibility study conducted in 1975 found in nearby Tanjung Kirung a suitable site for Sarawak's first deep water port. Realizing the industrial potential in Bintulu, the Bintulu Development Authority BDA was established in 1978 by the state government to undertake infrastructure development as well as to coordinate and promote industrial investment in the area. From 1979 onwards, Bintulu has witnessed unprecedented industrial development that looks set to continue beyond the year 2000. Already, Bintulu is Sarawak's leading industrial growth center. Demographic Bintulu is the fourth Bintulu is the fourth largest town Bintulu is the fourth largest town in Sarawak after Kuching City, Miri City, and Cebu Town. Its current population stands at 209,800. 209, the ethnic composition is primarily Iban, Chinese, Malanao, Kayan, Kenya, Punan, and Sega'an, who was the local native, and a large number of foreign workers, mainly from Norway, Britain, Britain, Australia, Italy, and Indonesia, with a population of over 180,000, covering an area of about 12,500 square kilometers. However, the number of voters in Bintulu is still low. During last March 8, 2008 Malaysia general election, Bintulu has only about 50,243 registered voters against a total population of more than 180,000. Ibans make up the largest number of voters of 46%, followed by the Chinese voters, 29%, the oddly classified Malay Malanaos voters, 22%, and others, which include Punan, Penan, and Kayan, make up 3% of the voters. Education 
Bintu is home to one of Malaysia's public universities, the University Putra Malaysia Bintu campus. The campus was reopened in November 2001 based on the third objective of UPM's 2001 2010 planning strategy, which is to upgrade UPM's ability as an internationally acclaimed center of study agricultural and biosource services. UPM Bintulu Sarawak campus is situated 13 kilometers from Bintulu town and is surrounded by a lush environment rich in flora and fauna and this natural abundance is fully utilized to affirm UPM's mission to further explore the fields in agriculture and biosource. This campus covers an area 715.16 hectares and will be able to accommodate up to 5,000 students by the year 2010. For primary and secondary education, just as any other towns in Malaysia, Bintulu has Sekolah Kebangsaan or National Type Schools, Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan, SMK, National Secondary School, Chinese Schools, and several international schools. One National Secondary School in Bintulu is Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Bintulu, or simply known as SMK Bintulu by the locals. SMK Bintulu is the largest secondary school in Sarawak, as well as the school with the largest amount of students in Malaysia. The school is dominated by the Chinese students, followed by the indigenous students, Malay students, and foreign students. The school is well known in Sarawak for its academic achievements and co-curricular activities. One of the STPM top scorer is from SMK Bintulu. SMK Bintulu's Robotics Club is well known for its glorious achievements in the state and national level for the past few years. The Robotics Club also emerged as second runner-up in a particular competition in Yokohama, Japan. The school is also known locally for its choir team. The school's choir team had emerged as champion in the Bintulu District competition since its establishment in 2003. There are other national secondary schools. It is SMK Bandar Bintulu, SMK Kidurong, SMK Baru Bintulu, SMK Ashakirin, SMK Sabao, Sabao District, and SMK Tatao. Tatao District. SM Kaidi or Kaidi School is a well known private Chinese school in Bintulu and located at Nyabao Road. Kidrong International School is located in Kidrong. A technical school of the Education Department is found on a 20 hectare site about 15 kilometers from the Bintulu town and near to the industrial projects at Tanjung Kidurong, built at a cost of 15 million and completed in 1982, the school has at present 527 students pursuing various courses at the school. The school has a maximum capacity of 900 students and an annual intake of 280 students. The various courses offered are are as follows automotive building construction commerce electrical installation and maintenance fashion and design stenography welding and electronic mechanical catering civil engineering and electrical and electronic engineering Bintu is also home of Sarawak first and only flying academy, Gulf Golden International Flying Academy or GIFA is the one of only two of seven flying academy in Malaysia which have college status. It currently has more than 100 cadet pilots in the college. Transportation 
Air links. Bintulu is accessible by air and road. The completion of the Pan Borneo Highway has connected Bintulu Barra to other major towns in Sarawak. Bintulu Airport is located 5.5 kilometers southwest of the town as is, and is equipped to handle aircraft up to the size of a Boeing 747. The new modern Bintulu Airport is much bigger than the old airport. Malaysia Airlines, including its subsidiary Mass Wings and Air Asia, are the only airlines that fly to Bintulu. Malaysia Airlines and Air Asia operate daily flights to various destinations in the country, which include Kuching, Miri, Kota Kinabalu, and Kuala Lumpur. However, only Malaysia Airlines and Air Asia has daily flights from Kuala Lumpur to Bintulu currently. Land Bintulu is well connected to other major urban centers in Sarawak by Pan Borneo Highway. The express bus services provide comfortable and cheap means of transportation all of the major towns in Sarawak. The Medan Jaya bus station is the Bintu single center for the intercity bus services. Bintu is also served by the comfortable intercity buses whose should serve a significant portion of the town area. All buses are air conditioned. Industries Bintulu has a number of industries. A significant portion of its industrial activities takes place in Tanjong Kidurong industrial area. The major ones are Malaysia Liquefied Natural Gas MLNG plants. There are three liquefied natural gas LNG plants in Bintulu, MLNG, MLNG Dua and MLNG Tiga. Petronas, the National Oil Corporation, own majority interest in these plants. Asian Bintulu Fertilizer, ABF plant. The Asian Bintulu Fertilizer, ABF plant, is a joint venture by five Asian countries, namely Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines and Singapore. It produces anhydrous ammonia and granular urea and is one of the largest urea plants in Asia. Shell mid Middle Distillate Synthesis Plant The world's first commercial gas to liquids GTL plant, the Shell Middle Distillate Synthesis or SMDS plant started operations in May 1993. The SMDS technology converts natural gas into high quality synthetic oil and special waxes and specialty products that are paraffinic, colorless and odorless. Shell MDS Malaysia supplied the GTL fuel in the jet fuel mix used in one on, of the engines of the Airbus A380 during its test flight on alternative fuel on 1st February 2008. National Parks Similaja National Park See Similaja National Park Financial Services Almost all Malaysian major banks and finance companies have their branches in Bintulu. Maybank, CIMB Bank, Bank Muamalat, Eon Bank, Bank Islam, Public Bank, RHB Bank, Afin Bank, Bank Rakyat, M Bank, and Hong Leong Bank. Foreign banks include HSBC Bank, Standard Chartered Bank and Huang DBS Investment Bank. 
accommodation. There are several hotels and budget hotels in Bintulu. The Park City Everly Hotel represents the highest in local luxury with many landmarks and shopping facilities nearby. The New World Suites is located at Park City Commercial Area and the Imperial Suites is in Tanjung Batu. Bintulu's first luxury hotel, the Park City Everly, was designed and constructed with a unique step design facade, making it striking local landmark that overlooks the Kamena River that feeds directly into the South China Sea. Truly a businessman's business hotel, the Park City Everly Hotel is equipped with 228 outstanding rooms, tastefully decorated in simple elegance and furnished with modern-day conveniences, making it a restful heaven for both business and leisure travelers alike. <laughs> Other hotels include Regency Plaza Bintulu and New World Suites Bintulu. A five-star hotel is currently under construction. <laughs>